So today I'm sharing a nice little selection of entry-level remote jobs. In fact, one of these jobs, they're not asking for any experience. I'll get into that one in just a minute. So I have a pricing specialist position. I have a human resources job. I have a logistics job. And I have a job that I'm considering a virtual receptionist. But don't worry, you're not going to be one of those freelance virtual assistants. You're going to be working for a company as an actual employee, directing customers to the proper people within the company. In one of these jobs, you need to apply by June 28, 2024. That's only a week away. And for the most part, these jobs will pay right around $20 per hour, and one of these jobs will pay $32 per hour. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into them, starting with a pricing specialist at LabCorp. So this job is a fully remote position. You can do this job anywhere within the United States. And this is the job that you need to apply to by June 28, 2024, and they're going to pay between $16.35 and $20 per hour. So what are you going to do in this position? You'll work closely with the department's director and analyst to gain an understanding of how to price strategically. So this position requires excellent computer and analytical skills since the job centers on effectively evaluating data to make pricing decisions. So on a regular basis, you'll process SPR requests and perform price adjustments, answer and maintain requests sent through National Pricing Email Box. You'll also prepare and distribute tracking reports, distribute client-specific fee schedules. You'll coordinate with divisional business units for entry of GPO-related pricing requests and do additional responsibilities as required to support the business. They want you to have one to two years analytics experience and they prefer that to be pricing related analytics. And that's just preferred, that's not required. As long as you have some sort of analytical experience, you're definitely good to go. You need to be proficient with Microsoft Outlook and Word and you have an intermediate level knowledge of Excel. They prefer you have knowledge of LCLS, LCBS, CRM systems, and that's just preferred, that's not required. And of course, you need excellent analytical and problem solving skills. You're team oriented, you're a great communicator, and you have excellent organizational and time management skills. And they'd like you to have a bachelor's degree in finance, accounting, or a similar field. So remember, you need to apply by June 28, 2024, and this job pays anywhere from $16.35 up to $20 per hour. If you like this job, you can find the direct link in the description below this video. This is job number one. Next up, we have a job with Clear Captions. So Clear Captions is a federal communications certified telephone captioning provider. And right now they have an opening for a human resources coordinator. This is a 100% remote position. You can do this job anywhere within the United States. And you may have noticed this date right here. This job was posted on May 29th, 2024. Now normally I don't present such aged positions, but I know this job is still available and typically companies post a position for at least a month. And because it's almost June 29th, 30 days from the May 29th posting date of this position, I'm willing to bet they're just about ready to hire for this job. So I'm going to scroll down here to show you how much this job pays, which is between $23 and $26 per hour. So as a human resources coordinator, you'll provide valuable support to the HR department by performing various administrative tasks and assisting with day-to-day -day HR operations. So this is a really great opportunity if you want to get your foot in the door in an HR career. So the majority of your time, you'll be managing all aspects of new hire gifts and milestone anniversary awards. You'll organize and coordinate HR meetings and events, and that includes coordinating all aspects of travel, including flights, accommodations, ground transportation, all those sort of things. You'll also provide administrative support for special projects and initiatives led by the HR COE leaders. And you'll do all that while handling sensitive and confidential information with the utmost discretion and professionalism, always maintaining a high level of integrity. So then about 40% of your time, you're going to be doing some internal communications. You'll coordinate and publish a variety of communications such as new hire introductions, team member anniversary shout outs, promotion announcements, and HR calendar and meeting recaps. You'll serve as the primary administrator for the company's intranet, ensuring content is up to date, accurate, and engaging, and you'll collaborate with various departments to gather and publish relevant content. You'll liaise with IT to implement and maintain technical enhancements, plugins, and integrations to improve site functionality and user experience, monitor and analyze the website and provide reporting on site usage and communication metrics, and provide training and support to employees on internet usage. So they want you to have a high school diploma or equivalent. Continuing education is preferred, and that's just preferred, it's not required. They would like you to have at least two years experience in an administrative role, preferably in HR or related field, including in a fast paced environment with remote teams. Experience coordinating meetings and travel is a plus. A basic understanding of HR principles, practices, and regulations is necessary. You need excellent interpersonal, verbal, and written communication skills. You have strong attention to detail and problem solving skills. 
And you're customer centric with a sense of urgency. You're flexible to adapt in changing priorities and deadlines. You have strong organizational and time management skills. You're able to work collaboratively with colleagues and staff. You're also able to use discretion, make sound decisions, and maintain confidentiality. And you're proficient in Microsoft Office. And you're familiar with modern communication tools for virtual teams. So this job pays between $23 and $26 per hour. They're really not asking for a whole lot of experience, only about two years experience in an administrative role. And I'm willing to bet they're just about ready to hire. If this job sounds good to you, check out the link below. This is job number two. So I have two more entry-level remote positions I'm going to go over, but first I want to quickly remind you to please consider subscribing to this channel, hit that notification bell, and make sure to turn on all notifications. That way you get all my job leads when I post them. The next entry level remote job I have is with iHerb. They're looking for a junior global forwarding specialist. This is a logistics position and they're going to pay $66,560 per year, which comes to $32 per hour. So in this job, you'll manage all air freight forwarding and trucking activities, and you'll be responsible for coordinating daily transportation services for domestic and international shipments while assisting the specialist and team lead with developing enhanced routes and managing the industry vendors. So in other words, you'll support the leadership team in managing activities with airlines, air forwarders, trucking companies, ground operations, warehouse operations, and global logistics. You'll schedule and monitor transportation-related activities, including pickups from designated warehouses and deliveries to departure airports in the U.S. on a daily basis. You'll also maintain adequate driver coverage when required for weekends, weekdays, and holidays. And just reading through that, it might sound like they want you to do some driving for the company, but I highly doubt that's what you're going to do. You're just going to be making sure there is driver coverage for weekdays, weekends, and holidays. You'll work with various internal and external parties and manage international air export bookings and schedules. You'll manage international air movements, ensuring correct on-time departure and arrival, as well as ensuring undamaged low-cost shipping requirements are met for international air shipments. You'll report and resolve capacity issues or delays, and keep a record of each shipment, review AWBs, report any discrepancies, and alert other teams and departments involved pertaining to shipments. You'll also identify root cause of issues as they arise, and prepare accurate shipping reports for leadership team on a daily basis. You'll also identify opportunities to enhance current practices and implement consistent process across the organization, review accounting statements and maintain air freight rates, and maintain knowledge of freight forward domestic and international shipping regulations. They're looking for someone who has excellent verbal and written communication skills. You're proficient with Microsoft Word and Excel and other software. You're able to work with little supervision and track multiple processes. You're organized, detail-oriented. You have a strong sense of responsibility for completing tasks and achieving goals. You're quality-driven, you're a problem solver, and you're self-motivated. So you need to be comfortable using Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, and they prefer you have experience with Google Business Suite. They also prefer you have experience with WMS and Asana, and both of those last two things are just preferred, they're not required. However, they do want you to have at least one year experience in the air freight forwarding industry. You have an understanding of business processes and operational workflows. You also have an understanding of logistics related terminology, and they tell us being bilingual is a plus. However, that's not required. And they prefer you have a bachelor's degree or equivalent experience. So this is job number three. It's a logistics position that pays $66,560 per year. If you like this one, you can find the direct link below. This is job number three. So our last entry level job comes to us from Birch Gold. And actually, as I read through this job lead, they're really not asking for any experience. So I'm gonna call this a no experience position and they're gonna pay $18 per hour. So in my opinion, this is kind of like a virtual receptionist position. You'll primarily answer phones in a pleasant and professional manner and provide information and assistance to other departments as needed. In addition, you'll perform administrative duties, including implementing administrative systems, procedures, and policies, and monitoring administrative projects. So what that means is you'll answer a multi-line telephone system, determining caller's needs and route to the appropriate department or person, provide callers with information such as company address, location, fax number, those sort of things. You'll work independently and within a team on special non-recurring projects, type and design general correspondence such as memos. You'll assist with other clerical duties as needed, do some data entry into the CRM system and provide leads for sales representatives. They want you to be a good communicator, you're dependable, you can plan and organize your daily work, you're quality driven, you're able to use technology, and you need a work environment that's free of distractions and you can provide a space to conduct business in a confidential manner. 
So remember, this job pays $18 per hour, and they offer the typical suite of benefits. If you like this no experience needed virtual receptionist kind of job, definitely check it out. This is job number four. You can find a direct link in the description below this video. Well, there you go. We just went over four entry level remote jobs. Hopefully one of them works out for you. But if you're looking for something that's more data entry in nature, check out this video right here. Maybe one of those jobs will work for you. Good luck to all of you who apply. And as always, thank you so, so much for visiting and I'll meet you on the next job lead.